Welcome back to World Beta Wrestling. Today is a return to some conditioning exercises, this one being called dojo abs. So today I'm taking a lot of what has been taught through Japanese dojos, uh, particularly working the abs and core and any real part of the midsection. Mind to be fun or pleasant. I'm sure there's a few people stressing on left and right of me. This is here to not only work the physical, but also the mental side. Professional wrestling is such a mentally taxing game. Sometimes you just got to push through. So today we're looking at high repetitions, uh, generally anywhere in the 30 to 100 range. Not too high on volume, one to two sets of each exercise, but we're just going to keep it moving. So a lot of these are partner-based exercises. Once you do your set, your partner hits theirs, so on and so on. No real rest in between. Okay, so our first exercise is a crunch. So with this one, we've got three movements to the crunch. We're gonna start with our feet on the ground. The first crunch is just lifting our left knee up, crunching towards that knee. Then we go down, we bring the right knee up, crunch. Then we go down and then we bring both knees up and crunch. Now this is pretty much the tempo I'm looking at. It's quite a slow movement. We want that squeeze in the up position. We want to go one, one, and both. And then two, two, both. All the way up to 10 reps for this one. <laughs> Next exercise is a leg raise. So with this one, this is a partner exercise. You're gonna have your partner on the ground holding your ankles for stability. They're gonna keep their legs as straight as humanly possible. The legs are gonna come up to the hands, so we don't wanna reach forward to grab. We wanna keep our hands here. Partner must lift their legs up to your hands and you're actually gonna use a bit of force to increase the resistance while they try to keep their feet from touching the ground. So partner's gonna lift the feet up, catch. We're gonna to go to the left. We're gonna to go to the middle. We're gonna to go to the right. That's one rep. We're gonna do 10 reps in total for this one. Now, depending on how your partner goes, if you're feeling that they're quite strong, just push harder, increase that resistance. So with the previous exercise, if you are doing this alone, obviously it's gonna be pretty hard to have your feet pushed. So with that one, I would suggest you've got two options. If you have a ring, you could use the ring instead. So you could put your hands on the bottom rope and you could lift your feet up, left, middle and right. Or alternatively, if you don't have a ring, you could just do leg raises. But with leg raises, I would say just aim for that middle plane. Probably looking anywhere up to 100 reps because that is a much easier version than the partner version. Okay, our next exercise is equivalent to a Russian twist. So a Russian twist is where we're often lifting our legs, going side to side, working the obliques. With this one, we're actually gonna have our hands on the bottom rope. We're gonna lift our legs up. We call this the windscreen wiper. So we're gonna lift our feet from left to right in that semicircle plane. When we do this, every side counts as one rep. So we go one, two, three and we just keep it going through aiming for around about 40 to 50 reps with this one again each side is just one try to keep your feet from touching the ground try to keep your body as straight as possible fourth and fifth exercise for this range uh, this is the most fun that you could ever have uh, with working your abs because you're actually going to take out a little bit of frustration by using a double stop. So with the first one, we use the top rope. We can use this for a little bit of push. We want to land both feet, mostly through the, the balls of our th feet, through our toes, right on the midsection. Now if you're struggling, if your opponent's a little bit too small, maybe you're a little bit bigger with your feet, maybe have them seclude an area for you to keep yourself safe. How much or how little you use the ropes is up to you. If you don't like your training partner, don't use them at all. If you do, maybe balance yourself out just a little bit. When we go through, we're gonna bounce up. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going through 50 reps in total.
fifth and final one, this one's the running man. So this is just a nice finisher, aiming for 100 reps. We're gonna start by standing on our partner. Give a little bit less on the ropes this time. We're not gonna be stomping. We're just gonna be running through their midsection. Person on the bottom, try to breathe as best you can, but remember the focus is on keeping those abs tense throughout the movement. If you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button, spread the word, and if you have any questions or requests for World Beater Wrestling, don't be afraid to comment below.